baada ya siku tano za kuwahoji viongozi walioteuliwa kuwa mawaziri sasa wabunge wa kamati hii ya uteuzi wameonekana kuunga mkono mawaziri wengi hapa bonde likidhihirika hasa ufafu alinturi na Aisha Jumwa Speaker, we did consider the academic credentials of all the candidates their professional training we did look at their experience kiongozi wa wengi bungeni kimani ishongwa akijitokeza kimasomaso akisema madai ambayo yanamuandama Methika Linturi na Aisha Jumwa kuwa hawajapatikana na hatia mahakamani ishongwa akiongeza Aisha Jumwa ni mfano mwema wa kiongozi aliyejizatiti kurejea shuleni hata baada ya kukosa karo na baada ya kuchaguliwa kama diwani na mbunge wa Malindi the, the honorable Aisha Jumwa has been charged in court but there is no court in the Republic of Kenya that has passed any judgment on the honorable Aisha Jumwa on the honorable Mithika Linturi and indeed honorable speaker it is worth noting that the criminal case that had been leveled against uh, uh, honorable Mithika Linturi or senator Linturi was actually withdrawn by the uh, office of the DPP honorable speaker Ishongwa aidha ameweka wazi sababu za kumtema Penin na Malonza akibaini ijapokuwa amefuzu katika kila nyanja hasa katika masomo maadili yake na uzoefu wake wa kazi hakudhihirisha uwezo wake wa kuwa waziri wa utalii Kemani akiongeza kulikuwa na viongozi wengine ambao walidhihirisha kuwa na wasiwasi wakati ambao walikuwa wanahojiwa and technical issues touching on the Ministry of Tourism and Heritage. Consequently, the nominee lacks requisite abilities and experience to serve as a cabinet secretary for tourism, wildlife and heritage. And now, speaker, that's why I'm stating this uh, recommendation by the committee on speaker is not in any way an indictment on Ms. Penina Malonza. This committee, the committee on, on uh, appointment, while we support part of your recommendations we want you to use the similar the similar parameters you used on honorable Aisha Jumwa the similar parameters you used on honorable Mithika Lunturi be applied on Penina Malonza kiongozi wa chache bungeni opio wandai akitilia shaka maadili ya Aisha Jumwa na Mithika Lunturi kwa upande wa Lunturi opio alisema hawakuelewa kuhusu uhalali wa shahada yake na wingi wa kesi zilizomwandama na kusema vigezo hivyo viliwafanya kuhisi kuwa hafai kuwa waziri when we approve you to be a cabinet secretary with all these cases how would you move on and yet Kenyans expect you to go and serve them from the office to which you have been appointed that was our difficulty with the honorable Mithika Linturi madam speaker It is very clear. It is very important for the image of this country, Madam Speaker. For that no minister to step aside, go and clear her cases in court. Kulingana na ripoti ya wabunge wa walio wachache kwenye kamati ya uteuzi, wabunge wa nane walimtema Medheka Linturi na aliyeteuliwa kama waziri wa kilimo. Hapa wabunge saba wa walio wachache wakimtema Aisha Jumwa. Mishi Mboko akikosa kutia sahihi kutemwa kwa Aisha Jumwa. Wabunge wanatarajiwa kuendelea kuchangia kwenye ripoti hii ya kamati ya uteuzi hapo kesho. Zablon Masharia Undugu TV.